Today we are going to be making a project based off of Monet and his water lilies. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the pond and we're going to do this by painting it blue. But we're not just going to paint solid blue. We want to layer it up with different reflections of light and color just as Monet did and as we observed at our own pond. So fill in the blue and you want light blue and dark blue. So if you need to mix in with a little green you can do that because remember the Water also reflects the greenery that is around a pond and also the algae that's in the pond. And you can add light blue for the white clouds that could be reflected or some of the uh, water crust that might be occurring. And just continue to layer it up. And the more layers of blues and greens and whites that you have, the more complex the background, the better it will look. Now that we have our background completed, what we can do is we can move on to adding the water lilies. So we're going to get some green construction paper and you can move your palette out of the way. Remember to clean up your palette with a sponge. Just get a clean side up of the sponge and wipe your palette clean before you put it away. Then we can put that away and get out our green construction paper. Then with just any marker or pencil or crown or anything, you're going to draw an oval and then a little V out of it. And then you're going to cut that all out. After you cut the V out, a dot of glue will do, and you're going to get some tissue paper. Now as you can see here, this tissue paper has lots of shades of the same color. So you want to get three or four of analogous colors, colors that are right next to each other. So here I have blues and purples, because blues and purples are right next to each other on the color wheel. And then you're going to find a marker, your tissue paper around the marker, and then again, a dot of glue will do. <clears throat> and press the marker with the wrapped tissue paper around it onto your water or onto the lily pad. Fluff out the flower a little bit, and then you have a lovely little flower on your lily pad. You have a lily on your lily pad. And then you're going to get another green piece of paper, green piece of construction paper, and with a drawing utensil, draw an oval and a V. And then cut that out. Putting the trash in the recycling, we need the scraps in the recycling, flip it over and glue it down. Remember just a dot of glue will do. Get three analogous colors, colors that are neighbors on the color wheel. And see how I line them up uh, at an angle to each other so they're not all stacked up straight. Wrap your tissue paper around a marker. A dot of glue will do. Press that glue onto the pad. And there you have your lily pads.